I finally got a theme song. And I feel, I, I feel like a spy. It's awesome. How are you, everybody? Thank you, Johnny, for putting me cleanly under the piano. You're welcome. Appreciate that. I have a friend of mine. His name is Ron Jaffe. He's a clown out of Orlando. And I, I got to work with him earlier this year. And he's a mental patient. There's no other way to put it. He's brilliant. <laughs> And he's genius, but he's crazy. And he has this character named Uncle Louie. <laughs> Uncle Louie talks like this, and he's really excited. He's like 100 years old, and it's very exciting to meet Uncle Louie, especially when you're unprepared for it, <laughs> as I was when I first met Uncle Louie. Scary, scary day. And Uncle Louie had a pair of really big horn rim glasses. He also had sock garters, short shorts, neon-colored Hawaiian shirt, and a Panama hat. He freaked me out, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and I looked for something to say, because I learned here, if you can't say something nice, shut up, and I had to say something. I said, where did you get those glasses? And he pointed at the side of them, and they had that 3D logo on the side. And I was like, <laughs> I said, Louie, Louie, maybe you ought to cover that up. He goes, no, 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 they're better this way. And he wanders off to freak out some kids. <laughs> The truth is he wandered over and he, we were in an ice cream parlor and he proceeded to stand in the window and convince people who were on the street to come by and have ice cream. I was told later that he upped their sales by a significant percentage, which is ridiculous. So this crazy old man going, come inside, there's ice cream, it's amazing. I finally, I said, he and I were like this the whole time we worked together. And I never really understood him, but I knew we were cut from exactly the same piece of really insane fabric. This idea that this guy and I were, were of a like mind. We were like clowny brothers from some very strange mother. <laughs> and I realized that like him, everything is philosophy for me. Everything. And so I've been walking around trying to figure out the damn glasses. And I realized that they were, they were you know, 3D glasses from a movie theater that he popped the lenses out of. And so I was at the movie theater for the first time in forever last week, and I actually got some time off and went to the movies. That was exciting. I didn't know what to do with myself, so I was kind of a problem child. <laughs> what did you see? Yeah. What I see, I, I saw, mm -hmm. name of movie here, because I, we're on YouTube. So I, 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 It involved lots of short yellow and purple people. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. I liked it. I liked it. I'm going I'm to start dressing like that, actually. Yeah. Someday. Yeah. Everybody dress in yellow one week. It'll be a thing. That's a really good idea, but the story. So I walk up to the counter and I see the same logo that's on the side of Louis' glasses. And I say, you have to give me a pair of those. And they said, the movie you're going to see is not in 3D. I said, but you have to give me a pair of those. Having limited boundary issues. <laughs> and they said, why? I wish they hadn't said why, because I proceeded to blurt out and tell them the whole story of meeting Uncle Louie and holy cow and how amazing that was, and that I wanted to build a character like Uncle Louie that was alive and crazy. In order to do it, I had to get the glasses so I could figure it out. The guy behind the counter was like, and he gave me the glasses. And I stuck them in my bag and I kind of forgot about them until this past weekend when I was reaching in my bag for my phone and I, I found the glasses. And I got really excited, and I popped the lenses out, and I put them on. And they didn't work. They, they, they didn't do a thing. You know, nothing. Just like that, nothing. And I, and I, I spent some time trying to figure out, why don't they work? And you see, then the philosopher in me started working, because, you know, got to have some sort of answer to this little mystery. And I finally figured it out. They weren't going to work till I got up here. Because you see, these are 3D glasses. And when I put them on, everything's supposed to be big and boldly colored and a little larger than life. And let's face it, kind of in your face. Yeah. 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 Mission accomplished. <laughs> the only place I know to make something like this work, welcome to the open stage. <laughs> like right here. And, and, and Ron, I'm coming for you. You get ready. Louie and I are going to go out for ice cream. Okay. <laughs> Take these away from me before I kill you.